<laughs> I've actually played Xflix. I played Xflix in a casino one time at one two when we were both like super fish or like new to poker. And it was like during the 2008 World Series of Poker, he was playing one two cash games at, the, at Caesar's Palace. And uh, I thought he was the nittiest guy on the planet. I'm sure he's gotten much better since then. I really thought he was extremely bad. Extremely tight and extremely bad. That's what I thought about him. But that was also um, seven years ago. So I'm sure he's gotten much better since then. Um, I'm starting to play now, but I'm still a bit uncertain. It's pretty loose open, but screw it. I'm pretty uncertain if I should play Zoom or just regular tables. What do you think? And to play No Limit 25, is it worth it to buy a Poker Tracker right away? Yes, buy a Poker Tracker immediately. I don't care what stakes you play, buy a Poker Tracker right away because that is going to be an absolutely crucial tool to examining your game and the game of your opponents and getting better, finding out where you, where you have leaks. And on top of that, what it's going to do is give... Um, hold this. Um, it's going to give... If you get coaching at any point, the coach is going to want to review your hand histories on Poker Tracker. He's going to go through the stats and show you how to use Poker Tracker and show you uh, where you're wrong. It's crucial. So, also, what I was saying uh, before about the links below, click on Poker Tracker below if you can, help me out, purchase it through my links, and would, that'd be awesome. Because I think I get a commission on it. Anyway, it's crucial. It's super important. I can't tell you how important it is. I know one big winning player that doesn't use Poker Tracker, the rest of them use it. Um, or holding manager. To me, I find it to be invaluable. Don't play No Limit 25 if you're just starting. I agree. I think that if you're just starting, unless you're already beating No Limit 25, you should be playing lower. I think that you should be playing as low as possible. I think that if you're crushing games, uh, after like, you know, play 30,000 hands at one stake, and if you're beating it after that, move up. Um... Give yourself like a 20 buy-in bankroll for whatever stakes you're playing. So at $5 no limit, that would be 100 bucks. Play, and if you, if you like drop below that, say if you're like, if you move up to like 50 and L, and you have 2,000 bucks, I think that's what it is, 1,000 bucks. Why am I having a brain for here? Uh, 1,000 bucks, if you get down to like 15, uh, buy-ins, drop down in stakes. Like, really manage your bankroll well. Um, I do agree on starting as low as possible. I started at $1, $2, and in no time I was up to like $0.50 cent dollar cash. Um, and if I had started at $0.50 cent dollar cash, I would have just constantly gotten crushed and really been demoralized and really not enjoyed it. And... Just start low. Promise you. LOL table name in the ghetto. <laughs> yeah, right? Sick. That guy really wants to give you his money, and he did, and that's fantastic. Time to leave. Other tables. Um. <laughs> Easy money, good game, pull boys right. This is really... This, <laughs> this is a really pretty beard, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Got it freshly trimmed a few days ago. Appreciate it. You get really hard and big. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? I know I said I go really hard. Like in the gym, I go hard. I go ham, you know? That's what I'm saying. Get your mind out of the gutter, you sicko. Um, Yahoo 2D. Yahoo 2D. Three bets. Right, let's, let's get this right. 8,000 hands, his preflop raise is 6%, and his 3-bet is 2%. So, uh, we're mucking. Um, Ming's my coach, by the way. Ming's good, you know. I subscribe. Ming's like the one person I subscribe, I subscribe to. Um, I'm really disappointed that, uh, I'm really disappointed that when I go on, I subscribe to watch him play 3-6 and stuff. Then when I go on there, he's always just coaching people at micros. You know, it's not what I wanted to pay for, but he's a good coach. And I did listen to his coaching some. I agree with what he says. He and I, I think, play a very similar style. Uh, nice run, dude. You get my follow. Yay, awesome. Thanks, Raja Rafal John. 
Thanks. <sighs> that fat piece of shit. Ugliest thing I've ever seen. Who? Doggy superhero? Where's he at? I don't know. Anyway. What does it matter? I guess you're not a 10, 10, 10 out of 10 either. Oh well. Yeah. That's not being mean on the stream. I can't stomach looking at hey. <laughs> I feel like uh, South Park. Is it Jimmy? I can't stand look at it. I can't even do the impersonation, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> we're gonna look up Charlie. Make sure he's as stubbly as he says he is. Or I guess Charlie can be a girl's name too. Um. Anyway. We got 120 people on here. That's awesome. Any other questions, guys? Poof, I am pooped. How long was this session? We're still playing, so uh, let's get off auto post. And that's it. How long do we play today now? Let's add the new time in here. 26.52. 11 hours, an 11 hour stream. That's pretty, it's pretty crazy. And uh, what's our new win amount for the day? Shall we find out? 15.91 at this table. People are like, they gotta be mind blown at me sitting with almost $2,000 at the one-two table. That's pretty crazy. I should have more after that one guy. 19891. 19, and as far as 48.17 for rake back. Five thousand dollars for the day. Oh, that's a big. It's a big day. Big big day. Guys, thanks so much for watching and tuning in. I almost don't want to quit playing because there are 122 f people watching, and that's like huge for me. Like it's gigantic. But um, I'm gonna tell you guys what I'm gonna do. What Jason? Uh, <laughs> Jason? Am I, am I saying it right? Is it Jason Somerville or Jason? I'm gonna look his name up. I'm having like a brain fart here. <laughs> Jason, okay, Jason Somerville, is that right? Jason Somerville, okay, it is. I want to do like Jason, what Jason Somerville did, and seriously, like, just grind like crazy all day long, every day. So I'm, I'll always be on here. I'm gonna try to grind five days a week, eight hours a day. So, you know, I'll be on. Look for me. I do go somewhere to get my beard trimmed. I trim it up myself as much as possible, but for the most part, uh, you know, probably once a month I get it trimmed at a, at a place here in Vegas. Get the hair trimmed and the beard trimmed, the whole get up, you know? Gotta look sharp for the, for the stream, you know? Mm, how do you see the future of poker? Do you, th you think you can sustain those big money years for a, long, for a lot longer, or do you think it will dry out? Um, I think it will get tougher every single year, but you know, if I think I think it'll it'll be good. I think I can. I think I'll be able to make six figures a year, probably for the rest of my life playing poker. And if not, I'll like go into some other business. Um, I think that poker will always be something that people will want to do recreationally for fun, and that you can always get good at poker and be able to make a living at it at any point. Even now, when it's incredibly difficult, like. For example, especially now, it's incredibly difficult. It's so much tougher than it was back in the day. And you can still find action. I mean, just look, look at what today was like, you know? You can find action. It's there. It'll always be there, I think. So I think it'll get tougher, but I think that it will always be profitable and you'll always be able to find action. Um, bankroll management, 20 buy-ins. Don't think that's way too less. Um, you know, it is kind of small, 
But if you manage it in a certain way to where you drop down when you get to 15 buy-ins, I think it actually works out pretty well. You really, you really like lower your risk of ruin. And if you're winning, like if you start at 5 and L, you should be, if you're studying and trying to learn the game, you should be able to win pretty easily there. Your bankroll should be dictated um, by your win rate, in a way. Like, if you go, uh, well, let me see if I can find it real quick, you know. The higher the win rate, the less the variance you have. So, for example, um, not to toot my own horn, my win rate's pretty high. I only really need, like, 10, 10 buy-ins to have less than a 5% risk of ruin. Am I still sitting? So, let's check it out. Bankroll requirements poker calculator so let's see the bankroll calculator game type cash games this is like it's like ridiculous that's not enough information Variance? I don't know. Okay, win rate. Let's say your win rate is uh, 5 BB per 100. Okay? Let's say that's what it is at 5 and L. So where you're going to start, select your game. Uh, 6 max limit hold'em? No. Heads up limit hold'em? Six max pot limit, no. Six max pot, where are we at here? Heads up, no limit, hold them. Six max, no limit, hold them, let's just say. Pro, 44. For a win rate of five BBs per hundred, your minimum bankroll buy-ins is a professional bankroll, 44, protected bankroll, a risky bankroll is 21. This is not what I was looking for. There's something else that shows graphs and stuff. Variance cal calculator graph, graph. Calculator, graph. This is what I want to try to find. Poker. Well, I feel like I'm just like rambling on here. Okay, here we go. Let's say your bankroll, let's say it's five. Observe the win rate. Uh, I don't know what this is. We're not going to do it. It says optional anyway. Standard deviation, 100. Number of hands to simulate. Let's do uh, 100,000 hands, okay? Can we make this bigger at all? I wish it was bigger. Can we make it bigger? Let's see uh, information here. EV, standard deviation, hands, expected win rate. Expected winnings, 5,000 BB, standard deviation. Uh, you only you have a 30% risk of ruin with a... What's the bankroll? Probability of loss after 100,000 hands, 5%. Hmm. Minimum bankroll for less than 5% risk of ruin, uh, 29 BBs. Okay, so, okay, 30 BBs, and you have less than a 5% risk of ruin, which is very reasonable. If your win rate is, let's say, what is the standard deviation anyway? So for no one that hold them full ring, 60 to 80, And they'll hold them 6 max, 75 to 120. Okay, we'll just leave it at 100. That's fine. All right. Anyway, say 30 bank, 30 BB, you know. But you can be an aggressive. You can be aggressive with your bankroll management and go to, like, 20 BB if you want. I have 10 on all my sites. And I, rare, I like, almost never, ever bust. Um, let me see how accurate this is. My win rate for heads up was, back in the day, like 18 So there's my stand. That's what my graph looks like. It's pretty sweet. 5% um, risk of ruin. So 
So 8.3 buy-ins. So yeah, okay.